All right, today we're going over how to warm up like a pro player in the CDL. We're talking about the bot lobby settings that you can use to most optimally warm up uh, your shot before going into either rank play or just pubs or going into anything uh, sort of competitive like. You know, making sure your shot is warm before you start playing anything competitive is so important, you know, even in any type of esport or sport. You know, an NBA player wouldn't go onto a basketball court to play a game without first, you know, taking some warm up shots. It's important to actually get a feel for everything, especially when you're just just hopping onto the game, fresh start for the day. So making sure you are warm is so important. And this is gonna be the best way possible to start getting into that field before you play anything competitive. So the importance of warming up is so huge. I would say probably 95% of pros at least warm up in some type of way before going into uh, any type of scrim or matches. Uh, so we'll go here into the actual settings. There's only a few settings that you need to tweak, but it will help you a lot in terms of saving time and actually making sure you're getting the optimal uh, bot lobby practice. So we're obviously going to go to free for all here we're gonna change the map i like to use scrapyard specifically for this game just because it's a small map but it's not as small as something like rust so it's not too chaotic but it's really easy to find enemies on this map because it's they're so small and the lanes are pretty self-explanatory so you're really going to get into most gunfights possible you know if we put it on something like quarry you're just going to be running around trying to look for gunfights sometimes and it's not worth your time to do that when you could just keep getting your shot warm on a small map like this so we're going to go into game rules here make sure that we turn this time limit to the max possible it used to be, I believe, unlimited, but now it's 45 minutes. Uh, for the score limit, I think you could do uh, 1,000 points. That's going to be your max. What you can do is just have the max be the set number that you want to actually shoot. Sometimes pro players just leave it at 1,000 because they don't know when the scrim is going to start, so they just keep playing and warming up until then. Max start time, we're going to do the least amount of possible, five seconds, and skip infill once again. And then we don't change anything for the player tab. We go to the team tab. We're going to want radar always on for constant. This makes it so that there's always red dots on the mini map. This this is going to be something that some pros do use, some pros don't use. I think it's more beneficial just to use it, especially going into this game, because it's going to train you to look at your minimap just a little bit more. And a lot of people, you know, going from MW2 to MW3 have this habit of not looking at their minimap so much anymore. So they have to train themselves to start looking at it again because there are red dots in this game. So I would put that on constant. We're going to go to kill cam, turn that off just to save even more time. And then we'll move on to the gameplay tab. And this is the most important setting here, spawn on ammo mags make sure this is on max you want to make sure that you're using your time effectively by having that ammo always at your disposal by constantly having a larger ammo capacity you're making sure that you're always using that weapon that you want to use rather than running out of ammo easier and then having to you know die and make sure that you spawn back up and everything you know making sure that you have the most amount of ammo possible to keep going is a really important aspect because you don't want to be wasting your time once again so making sure that setting is on is, is really important and then to actually add those bots to the lobby you can press this plus button over here we're gonna go to max amount 13 uh, we could just put it on recruit difficulty just because you're just trying to get your shot warm you're not really trying to go hard on these enemies and you don't want them killing you for free make sure you put that on recruit and then go to confirm uh, it's gonna add those bots and then you're ready to start your match so as you can see here like there is so many enemies on this map you're gonna be seeing tons of people that you can start shooting right away start getting your shot warm and this is just a really important aspect to a lot of pro players competing you know from experience I know a lot of players do these type of bot lobbies pretty much before every single scrim you know the biggest culprit of this is brandon he is always in a bot lobby no matter what uh, sometimes he'll do it mid scrim if the other team is taking like a small break so he tries to get as many bots as possible in uh, just to keep his shot warm and i probably think it really helps uh, in terms of his gameplay because of how committed he is to keeping that shot warm so if you see him before match he's probably already shot 500 plus bots i know a lot of pro players do this even on match days they'll do you know 500 plus maybe even a thousand if they get there super early and that's the biggest thing i want you guys to take away from this you know going into any type of play whether it's rank play or wagers or snd tournaments or even just simply pubs uh, if you want to be you know doing well in them it's important to get at least a few bots in maybe if it's only 50 or 100 uh, just to get something going before you get into an actual match is just so important because you just don't want to be going in cold uh, you want to get at least a feel for the game before you start playing so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one.